Hi, well, grab yourself a cuppa. This is a good one. You're going to like this. Some parts of this video are in real time. I've skipped over some of the chat that isn't important. But the parts that are in real time are so that if you want to copy this, you need to do this. This is the video for you. So grab a cuppa, enjoy. Patience, that's what it's all about. So this is the plane with its problem. And I'm going to show you the problem before I introduce you to the person who's going to help me. Look at that. Look how far out this step is. So this is the workshop of Robert. Oh, hello. Hello, Robert. Hello, Internet. Ah, there hello, you go. Jamie. This is Robert's first time on the Internet. Oh, Robert geez. and I have chatted so many times. Robert is probably the best person, engineer, I have ever come across. We think that we might be able to sort this problem out. So let's get into it. There you go. Okay, right. so Robert's being cameraman now. Okay. So let's strip this thing down. Lever cap. And these are a bit tricky to get out sometimes. You have to twist them around. So there's the iron and the cap iron. And it's only a few seconds for this lot. So I won't bother editing any of this out. I'll leave this in for people who've never stripped one down before. Yeah, I've done it before, so a couple of hands. <laughs> yeah, Some of these screws really don't like coming out. That one's not too bad. There you go. One last. And how long is that? I bet that's not long, is it? That is 57 seconds. Is it? Oh, we ought to have a competition. I ought to get with the guys to, my evening class guys to have a go. Now this sometimes happens, that the, that the screw gets stuck in the wood and it only comes out with the knob as well. So we've got a base, and now it's over to you. So, I mean, actually, in that in that plane, it's in that plane, it's not too bad. There isn't a lot. There's a little bit of rock on it, there isn't but of course, it's when we do, it's when we do that, and we've got this. Yeah, we've got. So I think the plan is, what the plan is, we're gonna. I've got a piece of steel, a piece of mild steel. I've cleaned it off, flattened it off well enough for this, because if we're not happy about how flat it is. You can come back another day. We can set it up on the surface grinder and we can surface grind the bottom to get it dead true. Okay. What we're proposing to do at the moment is we'll have a block of steel. We'll cramp this down to the steel as solidly and as firm as we can with a flat face and a reference edge. So this piece is unsupported. Then we're going to go in with the gas, which unfortunately will spoil the original enamel. Uh, we'll go in with the gas and we'll warm these areas here. And then the idea is to try and pull it while it's warm, pull yep. it sideways and then hold it with a cramp and then just slowly play the flame over it to let the let the temperature down slowly because obviously the issue being with um, a casting, um, I mean some people say you should pull them cold, some people will say you should pull them hot. Uh, the issue being is if there's any inherent tension in it, we'll know when we heat it because unfortunately it will go ping yep. and then become two pieces. But we do have a repair strategy. Yeah, you've got a little bit of not much. Not, that's not I, that's not bad. I mean, there's probably ones in service yeah. that are worse than that. So I want to point out here that sometimes, and I dislike people that do this. I've got to say, sometimes rather than people just knock the arrows off the steel, they actually almost take the flat off the bottom around the edge of the plane. I understand why it's so that it rides over bumps and doesn't bump into a, a bump and stop on a bump it so that it rides over it. But I think some of that gap there looks like it's some of that. A bit of steel. You call that a bit. That's, That's a bit heavy, of isn't it? We'll work this side of the vice. Yeah. Right, so we'll have that pinched in there. So we're gonna set that level with that face. Yeah. G clamp it down. And then of course we can't quite the camera can't quite see but that's how much the nose has come over by you can probably we'll see that. better looking down on there because that's parallel yeah. and then there's a big yeah. cliff right i'll go and find some because this is the important bit right so it's just there on that point which is yeah, we're great just, we're just, just catching that corner. so that's good and then got a little we can we can wheel obviously you, do you want a little tapping hammer i do i've got one here somewhere oh nice there we go 
Right, that's gone too far. Towards the way. Right, that's just passing that. That's now just passing that. Brilliant. And this can have a light skim later, yeah, somehow. Can be, well, yeah, so, we can address that if it goes. But if, but if we can get this as best as we can get it, yep. then even if it only gets 95% there, a bit of truing on the sole, a bit of truing on the sides, we'll sort it out. Sort it out, yeah. Brilliant. That looks good. Yes, we're okay with that. Move that again. Move that again, yeah. Got it. Yeah, we're good with that. What would you call this bit? I mean, I'd call that like a boss. A boss yeah. It is a boss. a boss. Oh, okay. Yeah, and what yeah. would you call that? I mean, we call that a, like a, uh, oh, it's called a ring. It's called a, it's almost like a captive ring because it stops the wood from splitting out. That's why that oh, happened. Oh, well, yeah. Okay. Early planes didn't, early metal planes didn't have this. And yeah, then what they found, once they tightened it up, yeah, the, the would, bottom of the wood. Yeah. Hi, if you've got this far, I just want to say thank you. Hit that subscribe button if you like one or two of my videos, then hit the subscribe button. It makes such a difference to my channel. It means I can grow and 2024 is going to be a blooming good year. So thanks for that. I'm going to find a little bit of metal to put across there because we can, we've got a nice bridge there to get a real good, Yeah. Real and actually this, look from my point of view, this has been just messed with a bit. Somebody's polished the air corners off these little surfaces here so this thing has been spoiled a little somebody's gone over it as you can see these polished edges around here of um not normal but somebody's gone you know and i don't mind doing that but but to take the sharp edges off here is almost pointless well it is pointless Nice. Nice. I don't know that will be. Just about catch it. Yep. I have to have that one on top because it's a bit busy below now. Yes. Yeah. Nice. Well, you're not going to get much better than that, are you? Well, that's, 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 I would call, fairly well held down. And actually, I can see already that there's a tiny gap underneath the back of the sole. So I was right with the, with the way it's been filed. Uh, so it will need, it's going to need lapping anyhow, but it'll probably be worse because somebody's attacked it with a file. It's not quite 12, though. We're working in English money today. Yeah, there's... Eight or ten. Ten just going under there. Yeah, ten just goes under there. And ten goes under there. Yeah. It's very consistent considering it's been dropped. It's not too bad, is it really? That's why well, we think there's a chance of why there's a chance of trying to pull it down. Yeah. And the buckle we we chatted about this the other day, Robert and I. The buckle is actually there, isn't it? Yeah, the, the, it's the that area. side, yeah. that's the area the that, that's got the pumped. most twist. Yeah. Because it isn't yeah, a straight line easy. down there now. Yeah, you got a sound off. It's quite weird because, yeah, Robert and I discussed it. This one's got all the bend in it, and this one's not far off straight. So so it must have, I mean, it did drop on this corner, but the damage is there. So it's. I suppose it's a matter of you get, you're going to get more heat in this side than that side, or is it going to be both Yeah, well, it'll go up to similar. red. It'll go up to red on both Will sides. Will it? Blimey. So, uh, I'm scared. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> it, it is... It's what technically now is minutes minutes away from success or failure. Oh, let's okay. Let's just say success, success. for now. So how will you get one round here? Just just okay, just there. Yeah. Oh, it's getting busy. You can get one across here. So that's our adjusting. So your, that, will adjuster. Be, that will be our adjuster in effect. Which you could slide a shim or something yeah, down there. We can do if, if we realise we need a bit, we've got an issue with spring back. Yeah. Um, but that one will be semi loose, and then we just need to get one final one, as you suggested, yeah. just to make sure this face because ride. 
Yeah, well, because to help if we're realigning it. Yes, I mean, if there's, because the opportunity of trying to keep it flat at the same time as removing the bend is too good an opportunity to miss. miss. Exactly. So the pre the pressure down makes sense. The pressure down makes sense. Just have a little, Just, yeah. Not well. See how it goes. We're not. We can always pinch that one up. Yeah. Post warm, but we need to make sure it's, it's loose enough. We're not. I think you just it. need to go this way but a bit more. Let's find. Let's find something to drop over that. So we think. Pinch, yeah. It'll be safer in the long run. Because usually what happens, you get everything fiery furnace, uh, and then a camp drops off or something skips out the way. Well, is that because we've got plenty of? Um, yeah, we've got plenty of meat in there. Well, we've got a lot of paint on there as well, haven't we? The enamel. So could the enamel warm up and then that's when you lose... Yeah, the enamel might go soft. Yeah. I hadn't thought of that. Right, that's that's going to be better because that's sitting across... Oh, and I, I like it. Sitting across the top of that little castle bit. And the thing is, I've, I haven't really had a good look out for videos, but I, I'm... I'm sort of hoping that there isn't too many videos on sorting these out and I'm hoping that if somebody has done a video sorting this out I'm hoping that they've got they've not done it as good as this because I want this to work well, yeah, so yeah. you're not going to do much better than this are you I mean this is looking really good So does the bed need to go nearer where the bend is? It, just, it will have put enough heat in, it will have put enough heat in, just a little bit of... To allow it? Just, okay. enough, to, just enough to let it get soft. Yeah. Okay. I mean, obviously you'll, you'll get a lot of discussion off both as to whether you could have done it cold. Um, oh, but I oh. don't think doing it cold is a good idea. A little bit of warm. Well, I mean, that's quite in the sample, but that's, that's pulled that back now in the brush. Oh, okay. So we're just going to pinch that down tight. A bit. And I'm just going to stretch it with. I thought I was going to do it. I'm not going to do it. 
what we're going to do, we'll just roll the time off. Let it cool down a bit slower. So the heat's off now. Heat's off, yeah. We'll just give it a few minutes. And, to... and the, it looks perfectly in line, obviously because it's referencing off this face. But it looks really good. So the thing that Robert and Robert's concerned about now is any spring back. Will it spring back much? But and, and we've got no crack, so we're happy with that. All the paint's gone. <laughs> Look at it. Looks great. And that's where all the heat was. Wow. The phone's not doing too bad filming this. It looks good. So again, so Robert's just said, leave it five minutes. So we're cooling down, and Robert's just mentioned this little tiny nick here is is whether whether it's. Uh, what, what, not quite a split or something yeah. going on there, but actually that little mark was there before. It's not any bit there. Oh, my phone's not up. Yeah. Yeah. That's it. So that was there before. So that's fine. That's fine. And it's all cooling down. Just discussing temperatures. This has cooled down a bit now. We're probably five minutes after now. Whereas the block is still, there's still some heat in there. Heat's transferring into the block. Robert told me all about that. I don't know too much about metal. Yeah, that's that's easy. That's 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 almost yeah, that's handleable. Yeah, <laughs> that that's not as hot as some metal tools might be left out in the sun in the summer. So that's that's all right. Hmm, it's looking good. The paint's not looking too bad, is it? I'm surprised. I thought the paint would be worth worse than that, but yeah, it it's not looking bad. Sort of just a local clean up, and you can yeah. wear it as a war wound. Yeah, or if if he wants to. Pour, pour, Strip it all yeah, off and do that. You can do all that. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Looking good. Just, just out of curiosity, if we scribe a little line on that corner there, when we start to unclamp, we can see whether it kicks or not. You got that, James? Yeah. Show? Yeah, that's good. Right. That's good. Well, this one is the lifted one, so we'll have that one out of the way. That appears nothing happened, so that's right, good. So here we go. And this is the so important one. Moments of truth. There yeah. you go. It's come back. Just a tiny bit. Just a tiny bit. It just moved over. Yeah, that. yeah. It yeah. just just flicked over. That's not. It's it not looks, bad, it is it? Reasonably parallel. Yeah. So, oh, see, it went back, but actually. It hasn't come out, it hasn't sprung over that it edge hasn't, as has much it? as it appears I'll, to have moved. <laughs> yeah, well, it's because we've got a datum to see it yeah. move from. If the scribe line hadn't have been there, we'd, we'd have seen a little bit of movement, but not as much. We were focusing on, I was focusing on that, probably you were as well, weren't you? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I was waiting that's to not, you That's not bad at all. Before, that's... before we unclamp the main body, if we just have a little feel around the front to see whether or not it's lifted it's, it's obviously sprung a bit, but whether yeah. it's still holding. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah, I mean... So what's that? We, that's one and a half not quite going to the middle, whereas before we were on ten. Ten thou. thou and it wouldn't, it was, it was ten thou was rattling around. So it's certainly pulled the nose down. It has, hasn't it? Um, Brilliant. Got, let's just try three. And, and from here it looks like this is straightened up. Yeah, it looks like we we look like we're tight here, but we might be a little bit. No, that's that's only that's almost passing through. So what's what do we think now then? Well, I think, I think we'll, do. we'll 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 uncramp it, yeah, we'll it on the surface plate and run the feeler gauge around it, and then we'll try and guesstimate how much. We've got two ways of doing it. Yeah, if we have got an issue with the nose lifting up despite being cramped down. What we can do is we can then stand this body face on a bit of shim material, so that face is artificially high. Yeah. So we can then, when we apply the down pressure clamp when it's warm, it will artificially over over bend it. Yes. To allow spring back. To spring back to get us flatter. Yeah. And then equally so here, we've got to have a bit of a guesstimate how much we're over by yeah. 15, 20 thou. And then what we'll do is we'll cut ourselves a little piece of shim. Which we can hold in place. So what we'll do is, when we rewarm, we'll overbend to allow to get a bit of spring back. 
Okay, let's do it. Brilliant. Right. So Robert's just said about how good it is, and I'm pleased with that. I, I probably can't focus properly on that. But looking at it, it's better to do the shim now rather than thin it down to try and square to, to try and gain the the surface that way. Right, well, that is. Oh, yeah, it's now spinning in the middle. Okay. And then that's one and a half. So if I just apply. Yeah. That's not. That's almost. That's going under a bit. That's. I see. It's on, it's on the plate oh, over there. So right. There's okay. A, there's a little. Bit. So, so when the spring back, it was this actually lifting as lifting well then. As well. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So yeah, you're our plan of, of putting shims under the back end yeah, to so draw. We'll, we'll, yeah. We'll, yeah okay. So what we'll do is we'll over. We'll, we'll pack the back up so the, the front is standing free. Yeah. So when we apply the warmth, um, I don't know. We'll have a we'll have a discussion on how much shim to put in. But I mean that's one and a half. So if you need probably only a couple of thousand. Yeah, yeah, with three or four thousand because yeah. you'll you'll get the spring back on whatever bit of shim you've added. Yeah. And then we'll have a guesstimate on how much to over over pack that to. Okay. Yeah. Brilliant. And we were just saying about the, the, the enamelling has done a pretty good job. It's not... I did expect it to be in much worse state than that. I don't know why. It's looking good. Well, I mean, I mean it'd be, we'd be really being ambitious. If we very slightly... Sorry. Go on. If we're very slightly overcompensated on the front face here, yes, we've got enough meat in there to lap to take it off. Yes, and balance all that up. Yes, because obviously at the moment to flatten that, you've got an incredible area to do. Yeah. So we'll we'll have a go. What we're going to do next plan then is we're going to put some shim against this face. Yeah. So when we warm, we'll overspring that yeah. front face. And then we've got to put a little bit of shim on this face. So when we put the clamp tight up against the block, we've got a bit of shim, so it'll over, it'll push the nose over slightly. Got it. Just by an amount we're now going to decide. Right, so you pull these this lot out. Yep, we've got a bit of brass shim. Okay. Um, and is that, will that be okay with the heat? Yeah, that'll be fine. Yeah. Will if, it? If, if, we, if we turn that into braise, it will get a bit off. Okay. Um, yeah, so we've got three, a bit of six there, uh, four, a bit of five. Unfortunately, these, these have got spoiled, but they'll be okay for this application. Well, we'll, we'll start off. We'll start off with. That says two hundred. Uh, that's oh oh six. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. That's 006. 006, right. And I'll, we'll just confirm that. What so what's man, that, 6,000? 6,000. Oh, okay, confirm right. what the man wrote. Oh, I thought 200. <laughs> yeah, it's a little bit tarnished because it's measuring six and a half. <laughs> we, that's... Six and a half there. So okay. what do you think, Jamie? We'll pop a bit of that under the nose. Do you think 6,000? Because we were only passing under, about... Under the back? Uh, sorry, under the back. Yes. Because we were only passing about a thou and a half on yeah. the nose. So if we put it under the back. Yeah. And then that means the front will be yeah. six thou clear. So if we could spring it back and it went down yeah. four thou, you're only going to be a couple of thou clear. Brilliant. As we got a thou and a half showing now, yeah. having had it crushed tight. And, then, and we do know that the bottom, the sole is a little bit iffy anyhow, yeah, all throughout. Right. Right, we'll scissor a bit of it. Brilliant. So we'll set that up with that. Right, we're going to set all this back up now. Um, and we'll come back when it's when it's cramped yeah, up. Yeah, when it's all ready to go. Yeah. Yeah. I think we'll go... Um, we'll have a go at 12 there. Okay. Ooh, that's not that's not that's, that's not a million yeah. miles away is it that's yeah. that's probably the closest you're going to get in fact yeah. it might be a touch over eight yeah. this end yeah 
Mm, okay. I'm concerned, I've just said to Robert, I'm concerned that um, this side, this isn't flat anyhow, it's sort of rounded, it hasn't been linish, this hasn't, this has been polished, somebody polishing mop this, and that's why it isn't a perfect reference mm. face, so it's a bit iffy. We go, we can go, we can go two bits to six. So that it can spring back to six? Spring, yeah, if we go six, that'll be twelve. Um, and we reckon we've got eight. Well, you've got four there then for it over springy. Okay. And, 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 and looking at the way it goes, it doesn't look like it goes too far. No. So if we have a bit of... It's rusting up already, look. <laughs> it's crazy. It's crazy. It is winter here, so, yeah. We've got that for the nose, so that's 12 now. So when we... Yeah. Then we hold that in place and then we've got the cramp on and we pull it back flat. What we've done, hopefully, is we push the nose that way by 12 thou, and then it should spring back a little bit because we've measured it was overhanging yeah. about 6 or 7. I've got to ask, is it actually a good thing doing it in two hits? Because it feels to me like this is actually, I mean, obviously we're doing, we're, the second go is it's based on experience of the yeah, first the one. First, I mean, you, but if, are we almost also doing the, the steel a favour because we're not well, yeah, overdoing yeah, it in one oh, go? Yeah, no, I mean, obviously we're keeping the flame down and just making sure that under artificial light we can just see dull, uh, dull red. Um, what you don't want to see, you don't want to see bright red and you don't want to see yellow because that's getting a bit too close to the plastic state. Um, so yeah, I, I mean, we, I know we talked about this previously, um, but I wouldn't have known, I would have been guessing as much as you yes. are by how much spring back we've got. Yes. So we, we did we did, a, we did a zero zero test um, and got eight thou, yes. six eight thou spring back that way and uh, four, three or four thou, not pulling the front down. So we needed a we needed a reference yes. from which to work, and yes. hopefully this twelve and the six underneath will get us a little closer to perfection. Well, I'm going to add to that that the scribe line that you put there earlier, very much like when you use a pencil. Sometimes, if the scribe isn't razor sharp, 
that stripe line is under the radius of the corner. It's yeah, it's, yes. it's, it's it, there, was, there isn't the gap. There, there, there was a the gap. there was a tiny gap before. Now there isn't a gap, so that's looking really, looking really good. We pop that, we slacken that off. That, that well, it doesn't go in. No, it doesn't go right. in now. So we've moved that already. Yeah, so now it's one. that one. So if we just back this one off, it's whether or not that gap closes. And and now yeah, I suppose it's yeah, it's taking the clamp off. It won't quite pass the twelve, but it will pass six. Six. So that's telling us we've got about six there. But, but we also realise as yeah, well that a, we've we've chatted about this. We think a cramp could have been this way holding this flush because in tightening this one, that part of the body has moved slightly yeah but with the spring back we think we've got away with it brilliant so i suppose the only other thing well we won't do that one that one's not doing anything no. now it's still a little i bit think warm, it's i it. think it's good you know i All think right. it's oh sorry we'll keep gone if we leave that one if we leave that one cramped as it was before we unclamp it because we need a third go we could have a run round the nose and see what we're at. Right, because the nose should be the now. Should be, the nose should be technically was six hour away from the yes. surface. Now, hopefully, we shouldn't be able to get a six in. So we'll try three to but, start. But the six under the body. The six under the body. Under the rest of the soul. Also, three is touching. Just, just dragging on the three. What about from this side? Can you actually yeah. get it in this side? No. I think it's a twist. That's yeah. down, that's that's tight there. Just passes, just starts to go yeah. in there. So there's, there is a like twist. There's an area, it, it's a contact there, yeah. and it looks like around here. We're a little bit... We're a and little I did bit say, and it is a bit of a gamble to Robert, should we have something well, we, under here yeah. to try and... Compound and now from this one, we've seen that actually maybe that might be that a... That might be another option. But, but then, then again, we need to get this off in a bit. Yeah. Put it on a plate and see if it's within tolerance that we're after. So which I don't I don't think it's gonna be far away at all. A little bit warm. But okay to take off? Yeah, 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 we're alright to take off. Okay. It's just a little bit warm. It's looking great. There you go, it's starting to show a bit of heat now. Nice. I bet it doesn't look too looking bad. Looking down it? there, that looks a lot better than it was, but I oh, think we'll, but I think we'll be coming back for number three warm. Really? <laughs> That's a little bit hot, I'm just going to leave it there for okay. a moment. Right, she's cooled down and she's going rusty, which is cool. We've, Robert's just put this on here and it's looking, you just said about this, there's well, no, yeah, it's not I mean, spinning it, in the centre, look before, at that. Before it was spinning around the yeah. middle now, I mean that's that's actually dragging yeah. in whichever way you're Yeah, that's, that's what I like, the fact that it's at the front now, the front's touching. Yeah. Which means there's a high spot that will come off with lapping there, which yeah, we know it is there because that's a low that, point. That was a twist, but yeah. I mean, that, that, well now, if you hold that down and tap that, that's pretty well on the plate. Oh, are you, you listening hold that for down, it? Okay. You can't hear anything there. We've right, got okay. one and a half. So we just hold down in the middle. Yeah. Right, we're not passing no. the tights on one and a half. We're passing one and a half there. I think this bottom face isn't really flat. That's what I think. Uh, through, that's not passing. That's tight on the plate. That's got a lid. That's that's if it's one and a half, it's no more than two through. Right. Do you want to drop it on its side and we'll have a yeah, have a nose at that. This is the real telltale. I mean, I, 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 well, I can't. Yeah, I can. Can you feel that? I can make it rock. Yeah. But it's now rocking. It's now rocking round here, where this where this face is out of shape. If we just do a little, if we do a little rub. So it's picking up there. Yeah. And it's picking up here. Yeah. There. Yeah. You look at it that way. This face is a little bit out of shape. This has come in. Yeah. That was bent in. This has come in, and then you got a bump. Because it's got, the, it's got the support from that. You've got that. the rib across there, because yeah. it can't move on the rib, it's solid. So that's showing yeah. a little bit of rub there and a little bit of rub there and there. So 
What do we do now? Turn it over and have a look at that side. So that side obviously is passing. It's not passing one and a half. It's passing one and a half. And it's tight. So I mean that's within it's within a couple of thou in both planes. I think Lying that's on it. its side. Yeah. And also. But as you said, Jamie, the interesting one of course is 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 unfortunately it's developed a slight twist. It has, yeah. So whether or not we feel we should go in and chase we've, that a bit more. Just so so that you guys know, we've been here an hour and a half now. So this isn't a fast and, and it's probably gonna be a slow video, but anyhow, it isn't a fast job really. Okay, we're filming it, but we're not stopping and too we've, much for filming. There's been no tea breaks. No. Uh, so um I don't know. I think it's. I think it, that's. I think that's enough. I, I, you can chase all day. Um, exactly. I, I, I think. I, I think, think two is probably we're, enough. We're within two thousand, to be fair, um, and and I think a moderately good lap will. Yeah, get and that I up do. Pretty quick. And I do. Brilliant. Brilliant. Well, well done. You should ask your viewers whether they think it needs a oh, third yeah. go. Put it in the comments. Think, put it in the comments. We're not exactly on authority. I'm sure there's lots of people out there now shouting at their televisions and their phones. Don't do it like that. Yeah. But you know what? We haven't broken it. No, it's thing. not broken, which is great. It's so much better than it was. Yeah. So put in the comments, would you go further or would you accept that and, and, and start lapping? I think we get, for me, that's enough. We've spent enough time on it. Um, it's not, it's not mine, it belongs to somebody else. And I think it's because we're, we're on a winning, we're winning. Yeah. It, it, sort of quit while you're ahead. Leave it alone. Yeah. So, so the last thing we want to hear is that little click. Yeah. And then we know we're in the Looking good. Looking great. Right. Thank you, Robert. Well right. done. Catch thank you. you. See you later. Cheers. If you enjoy this video, thanks for watching. Over on my other channel, a new channel I've got at jam73e there's the long version of this it's all the clips pushed together no edits no bits missing out no smooth edits no nothing like that it's all the clips so that if you want more in depth if you want to get a bit more knowledge about it jam73e have a look cheers